All right. <laughs> Raul Ramos is on already. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> All right. Wow, check this out. We're live. We are live live. Live live, live without live. our help of uh, Evan. 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 He's not here today. Team Evan, not Team. in the house. Not representing. <laughs> not on a big giveaway yeah, move Tuesday. Over, move over. We got plenty of space. Look at this. Uh, no Evan! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Evan has told us that we're allowed to say that he couldn't be here today. We can't go into specifics. He is at court. Um, yeah. We're fairly confident he'll be back tomorrow. We, we hope. Um, if so things work out well with the yeah. trial. Yeah. Everybody send your, uh, send your blessings, um, you know, you prayers. Know. We're hoping for the best here. Um, the, minor charges, I right, think, right? Right, You Just know, you must, if, it, if it fits, you must acquit <laughs> or something of that nature. All right. Um, <laughs> wow, look at this. I have to do all this stuff, you so do. bear with I us. I was going to do is, it, but you took it, you so can, no. You, all right, so, I made all the graphics, so. All right, so, boom. So today we are... Uh, we went to Princeton Toys R Us, one of the ones that looks like it's going to close yeah. before, like, the Cherry Hill, New Jersey one. You guys lucked out. That yeah, was a we, nice We haul. got an extra 10% off. We got yeah. two of these suckers, which means we can open one today, which we've been excited to do. I, I kind of don't because we could have so many more Hydra agents I know. with all these cool accessories it has. But we will be giving one away. We also have the <laughs> woo, Ant-Man 2-Pack. Yeah. To give away. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> we actually have, because um, we missed our boy. So we did. Come we on did. in. Uh, since he couldn't <laughs> couldn't be here with us uh, yeah. physically. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. We're doing it live. <laughs> We're doing this very live. Doing it real live. Oh man, don't. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Coming on in. Wait, you uh, gotta go. Are we wide? No, no, no we're, we're wide. We're wide. wide. Okay. So, uh, hey, Evan, <laughs> how's it going? Nice to see you. We're well, hoping everything's going I'm well glad, with the trial. I'm glad you got a better shirt on today, Evan. You're yeah. really starting to step it up. You look enough. good. You look like you lost some weight. Yeah. yeah I guess you that's did. what prison life will do to you, huh? Yeah, I guess. When you spend all weekend in jail, yeah. that'll happen. That'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so, two. We also are giving away, we're not opening this one because we can only find one, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to give away the Ant-Man um, and the Wasp 2-pack. I'm actually okay giving this one away. I'm not, you know. I never actually thought we'd see this one. Yeah, you know? I didn't. It's I, it's some of the, you know, it's the last days of the, of the Toys R Us exclusive. Toys R Us. And, and when they announced this one, everybody went, ooh, ah, ee. But I still felt as if we should have gotten a more movie version. You know? Yeah, that's why not. Why not give me? I guess because we got in the second wave, yeah. the Ant Man and the Wasp. Well, um, they they did it with Thor uh, and Valkyrie. You got a two yeah. pack of them, and then there's that Killmonger and um, and uh, Bilbo Baggins two pack. That yeah. God knows what'll happen. Yeah, to but that. again, why didn't you give me the movie representation in that? I I, yeah. I was kind yeah. of a little Agent uh, Ross. Agent Ross. Sorry. Agent Ross. Yeah. Agent Ross. All right. Um, also. The final giveaway for today, we'll leave it wide on this shot. Evan's excited about this one. Uh, we were there right as uh, Ollie's opened. Uh, we went on Wednesday of last week. The uh, regional manager told us, come back tomorrow morning. Be the first ones to get here. There's a limit that you can buy, and they're going to sell out fast. <coughs> I was there at 8.45. It opened at 9.00. By the time I left, I only grabbed two, one so that we can maybe open it or yeah, yeah. whatever we're going to do, and then one to give away. There were four other people behind me that bought three each. So either buying them for a friend. How many did they have? I want to say 20-ish. Because Cherry Hill, New Jersey, that's that's a pretty big, I mean, yeah, a big no, it's a big here, one, yeah. But my mom went to one in Reading, Pennsylvania. They only had 15. And she said, uh, we went back two days later to see if there were any left. All gone. Yeah, no, I'm... It, listen, at fifty bucks, it's a hundred, hundred and fifty on on oh, on eBay. Some, it's a great some places deal. it was like two hundred. Yeah, it was two hundred. Because as soon as we saw that announcement, I went and said, "What's it going for right now?" And I'm not, despite my T-shirt today, not a monster Transformers guy. And I would say Trypticon has never really been, I don't know, like on my want list. No. But 
fifty dollars for this bad boy. I mean, now I because I'm I, I'm even less. So is he? Is this a unicorn transformer? What's up with? I've the, never understood. Is this a spout? The, yeah, I've never understood the power blast thing that was in you know in the top of his head. I've never understood that. I've also never understood why have a dinosaur but not a robot trans, transformation. Yeah, mode. it's kind of like so I'm making him really slow on purpose. Now, granted, he's a city, but then Metroplex had a like a humanoid looking robotic form. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. I guess it makes him more of a bad guy that he's a monster and king of the dinosaurs. All right, we're going to try to catch up a bit. Uh, we got 30 people live. So I guess oh, we'll 40? you know a little nice I got, I got 40. 40, over here. okay. I got 40. Um we're doing it live. What up guys? Hi everybody. That two pack is really great. Uh, team Evan sad. We got uh, who's your all-time favorite Marvel character? Wow, that's a that's a hard one. I'm Wolverine all day, Bob. Uh, Spider-Man, hands down. Wow, hashtag guilty Evan. Evan. Yeah, I saw that. Wow, um, that one hurts. If you're wondering how we're going to be giving things away, we've there had several questions already. Um, Evan would like to tell us, but he's in jail. I mean, uh, he's in court today. Uh, but we're going to be doing some trivia questions, and I have trivia questions right here. Uh, they will pertain to the characters that we will be giving away today. So, uh, and this is the way that it always goes. You can win once per live. Right. Okay. Once per live. Um, it's the first person who puts the correct answers into the stream. Yes. Uh, these are not going to be easy questions. No. So, and they are related to the properties themselves. Yeah. So get your Google ready. If you're watching on your phone, make sure you've got a secondary device because we're not going to make it easy for you guys because, you know, yeah. and this I mean, is, we're down a team member. What would you, you know? say this is about, 15 pounds? Yeah, this is 15 pounds. I mean, I, this is really, really, really <laughs> cool. Um, so, all right. Evan seems to have lost his neck. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's like a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's let's get started. Um, I think I think everybody should we you want to you want to give something away now and open up. Uh, no, let's make them watch. Make them watch for a little <laughs> let's bit. Let's make them watch a little bit. We All got, right, we got I got the 34, 35, 36 people. So um, yeah, you know, just pay attention. Like we're gonna hit you with the trivia question, and then it's the first person in the stream that answers it correctly is uh, is gonna answer this. So we're gonna start with the uh, has. The Hasbro Marvel Legends Hydra 2-Pack. Now, this is the figure that we've all been looking on. Goodbye, Evan. Um, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to miss you. We're gonna and miss hey, you. We, you know, what you did, you did. It, you it happens. I so. mean, it, it was a crime of passion. Yeah. I, I hope that the judge goes with that. Um, <laughs> you know, they don't deal with that insanity defense. No, like not so much anymore. There's uh, so many drugs that we're on now that you can't do insanity. <laughs> okay, so before we open this, I, I have to, uh, because we're not going to get a chance to do this much longer. This has Bob's favorite thing and our favorite thing that's, that's going to go away. It has the Toys R Us exclusive sticker, which as we all know, adds to the value. It does. And we've got to figure that any of these last wave of exclusives that will still have the figure, because they are, it seems like Entertainment Earth is going to get a lot of these. Yes. From what yes. we can see. Um, a lot of the Black Series right now from Star Wars and Hasbro are rumored to be moving over to either Amazon or Entertainment Earth. Um, so that's what we've been seeing in a lot of uh, other sites that we follow like Yak Face and Toy Shiz and those guys. They, they've they all reporting kind of the same thing, that we're going to yeah. see these move to online retailers. Which I think Hasbro should just sell it itself. Yeah, you I agree. That. Why you not sell it on the Hasbro toy shop? But there was there's something so fun. So we go to the Toys R Us. 40% off. They finally switched toys from 30 to 40. And, you know, we, we assume that we're going to get nothing uh, like we have recently. And, you know, we stumble upon two Hydra 2 packs, the Ant-Man pack, and I, I lost my mind a little bit. I mean, just yeah, getting surprising. to see them still in store. Now, I went back on Saturday Ooh. Um, and popped the shelf underneath, and guess what I What'd found? You get? 
more of these. One more Did hydro. You buy it? Yes, Did of you course. Buy it? Yeah, Paul and I bought it. Nice. Uh, so me and I've Lego pop- Paul. I've been popping shelves. I had to explain oh, yeah. to my mom what I was doing. My, I'm I'm trying to convince my mom to go in and buy a sand speeder for the potential grandchild that she could have and she's convinced to do it now they're going to delaware oh to yeah oh because you're gonna get we actually when we were at the cherry hill one last week i said to the guy mm-hmm. i don't need the box i just want this the sand yeah. speeder what would you sell me just the display model. right here yeah have oh it coming yeah right down here i mean i'd be reinforcing the bottom to hold my weight just so that we can have fun with this thing and he literally said to me dude you don't buy this one Wait a couple more weeks. Yeah. There's 30 plus of these at yeah. every one. He goes, you're going to be able to get this thing for 50 or 75 bucks. He goes, I'd have to sell it to you at the, the discount, even without the box. And it just, uh, it, it just doesn't make sense. So, but either way, so we're there. Yeah. It adds to the value. Awesome. It's mm-hmm. our favorite thing. This Hydra 2-pack, I have to say, it's one of those reasons why Toys R Us failed. They had so many of these. They were supposed to hit the stores. Mm-hmm. They barely trickled out. They weren't at all the locations. People went crazy. Right. They People were clearing them out, selling them for $80 or $100. Mm-hmm. They were trying to scalp them on AFJ. We were having to stop it there. And then lo and behold, they start clearing out warehouses across the United right. States. And guess what are in abundance at every warehouse? Hydra two packs. So not being able to get the inventory that they needed into the stores cost them to have to liquidate it at between 20 and 40% of the cost because these would have sold out in stores. And what was this, this originally? Did this was this is a fifty dollar I, I think it was forty nine ninety nine. The fifty dollar pack. Yeah, I got at it least. we got it for twenty three. Um, with the discount, one of so these is that? Yeah, Normally. I mean, you're, and and with this one, before we even get into it, you've got two bulky figures, okay? You got with, with belts and accessories, four and there's extra two heads, vests. and just like I'm a I'm a in the box collector. Bob opens his. No, I don't. Um, what are you talking I about? Thought, I thought you opened. No, I barely open anything. This, My bad. This Sorry, is the most toys fall, I've opened in a year. Go, go, okay, well, this most toys with. I've opened in forever. Check out the freaking artwork on this thing, okay? The artwork is epic. On the uh, side, you got your hail. Hold on. And, and all hail. Oh no, that's the wrong no, one. No, no, don't do that. No, one. Not that, that one. One. no, no, no. This is one. why. This is why we actually need Evan. Well, yeah. That, well, yeah. Okay. So we got right, the artwork here. Right in the front, you've got the awesome Hydra symbol, and then check out this jacked up Hydra agent. Right yeah, he's on the like, side. He's like one of those that was on the the like the Hulk juice or something that they were handing out. I remember reading about that in a Bendis comic. Like, all of a sudden, they rolled into some Hydra, like, you know, secret fortress, and all yeah. of a sudden, half the agents there had Hulk powers or something. I, I would have to definitely say that, like, you know how when you're you're trying to figure out, am I going to display it to the front, to the side, if you're mm-hmm. not going to open it? Yeah. I'd be really torn on this we one. Have, we have some here that have that. We have... Um, That's going to drop the one in the back. Oh, it is. We'll pull the one from the back. So here's a, here's a Black Widow and Winter Soldier one. And again, this is more the Bucky Winter Soldier. So we have this like, we have this really cool artwork here on the side Hold on. that can kind of show you that this is, you know, yep. this is Winter Soldier Bucky over here. And then we have Black Widow on the other side. You yeah, know? so you really, and I this mean, is again, a and this is actually exclusive. a really good comparison to kind of do. You've got the old school style versus yeah. the new box. And again, you're you're still getting the same figure, so just a little bit sleeker, yeah. a little bit nicer. Shout yeah. out to Hasbro on that. Yeah. Um yeah. but so, you know, we've got the two pack here. Let's let's crank into yeah, it. I think we gotta come it. back a little bit because we're yep. we're a little we're a little tight. Um, All right, while well, you're opening it, man, there's been a lot of yeah, comments. Let's do some today. comments here. And you got uh, a happy birthday, by the way. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, waiting for questions, Sandeep. What's up? I know you're shooting for the uh, the trip to con, trip the fan. Thank you. <laughs> the trip uh, to fan. That's what we were calling. Yeah. It's like a trip to fan. Uh, appreciate the Slimer <laughs> shirt. Uh, thank you. Uh, any news on the exclusive Black Series Zuckus? That's going to Entertainment Earth. That's it, what we heard. That yeah. Okay. Uh, That's trust what we me, heard. we are. I am the Rob. Jedi junkie, and I'm. I definitely want my Zuckus. Now that I got, I picked up Boss recently, and I have the White Boba Fett. I have the um, the Comic Con exclusive Star Wars Celebration Boba Fett. I'm trying to create, uh, collect all the bounty hunters now. Before I didn't care because Bosk was so up there, but since I stumbled upon a Bosk, I gotta have them all now. So oh, I definitely yeah. need. You them. know you have to have them all. Uh, you got a shout out for your shirt. Jason asked about Evan. Uh, we're not allowed to say. 
Yeah. He is in court. It We're hoping a, for the best. It's a it's a it's a legal issue. Yeah, right? just it, yeah. it's it's part of the justice system. Um, ooh, ooh. We, we're gonna we're gonna move on here to the uh, to the smell test. Smell test. Oh. Oh, somebody mm. said hail hail Evan. Hail Evan. <laughs> Take a look. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. These guns are really cool. Uh, this we are. I mean, I think. Yeah, we had a we had a very um, large. I don't know. I think one. I'm gonna say no, a no, large we'll complaint. But one of our complaints with the uh, the the building the Thanos wave of uh, the movie Thanos is that Spider Man came with nothing. Yeah. And then you get to somebody, you get to like a Deadpool figure that has like 15 accessories. And why is the price exactly the same? Here we're looking at a two pack. It's it's you know as MJ says it's epic. We've got. One, two. We've got two big heavy rifles, three heavy rifles. We've got like a shotgun. Um, I don't see any holsters on them, so that might be my only complaint. But we've got multiple vests. We've got a we've got a giant Bowie knife. Almost. That's my favorite one. This yeah. knife is my favorite part of the thing. And we've got Check one, two, out. three, extra four, vest, yeah, five. We've got six heads for two figures. So you get a couple of these. And you can really make an army of Hydra agents, which well, is Well, you cool. can buy a bunch of the, uh, the the cheap throwaways, spray paint them green. Oh, my God. You could get some of those DC um, multiverse uh, <laughs> Buy flags. any of the DC buy, multiverse figures. Buy the flags. Some people on AFJ have actually been doing that. They've been buying the flag, popping the head off, and making him into different versions of Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, you're right. Characters. That, and by the way, if you are on the hunt for that wave or the Wonder Woman... Uh, five and below. Yeah. Five don't below. don't pay for it. It's now, five and below. If if you're if you're an international junkie or you're a West Coast junkie, five below is very much on the East Coast. So that's one of those things where sadly you're not going to be able to find these five dollar figures. Um, that's something I learned the hard way when I was in LA. I really was like, where the hell's five below? But and they looked at me like I was nuts. That's the beauty of the page. So uh, you know, reach out. Hey guys, I'm looking for it. Can somebody help me? I've seen more and more. This is very That's cool. That's awesome. This is very cool. We've noticed a lot of these on a lot of the different figures that we've opened. And, you know, you kind of feel bad for the ones that don't have anything on the yeah. inside. It's just yellow. But I, I really like that they're adding this extra layer of character. And it gives you, or it gives the, maybe the newer fan, what is this? Like, this is their logo. How many logos do they have? So, like that a lot. Well, and I, and I, and I think they really figured out because the Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2, two-pack, went nowhere and and the thor ragnarok the same so i think they've they've done a decent job of kind of clearing oh. that up a bit richard ruiz says that they have a five below in la now all right oh, oh nice i haven't been there in five years so that's awesome um you know post where it is richard we really you know got to spread the word for the junkies you know if it's in downtown la or if it's in sherman oaks i mean you know how it is in la it could be across over the hill and that's a different country to most people so i'm gonna i'm gonna do the little the little one here the little agent We'll call him, you know what, just immediately as Bob? I look, Bob, we'll call him Bob. Well, Agent Hydra Bob. Um, immediately I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, custom human fly. Sure. He was one of the uh, the otter villains that uh, Spider-Man, I think it's like an amazing Spider-Man annual number five, where J. Jonah Jameson makes another villain to kill Spider-Man and it was the human fly. And the eyes are perfect. You could add some wings back here. You're half there with the colors already. Yeah, but check so, this guy out. I mean, you've got you've got the Hydra logo on both shoulders, which is really, really cool. He's got this great little chest strap, which looks like it should get yeah, looks like it should be able to come off. Oh he's got a nice belt. Oh what get out. Look at That's this. cool. All right, well, we're going to show this. Hold on. Let's I'm going to work the ankle pivot. All right, so let's we do a close up here. It. So we're in a close up. So here is the clip that comes with the one gun. I'm going to try to hold it as close as I can. But it comes off. It has the Hydra logo on it. Now, it doesn't seem to attach itself too well. So let's just. There we go. I got to say, is this, the, is this the best two pack that we've seen? It's right now. It's. it's For at yeah. least in the last. You well, Ant-Man and, and the Wasp don't come with much. Yeah, no, Ant-Man and the Wasp are just literally, they're zero accessories. Yeah. So, so um, we've got some awesome figures here. Uh, figures. We've got some awesome uh, articulation on the hands that you can actually put the figure, figure's hand, the finger, into the trigger if I can get it. Nice. It's a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. There we go. And then, yeah, the finger is actually separate from the full hand. 
So they're saying that the big agent has the strong guy color scheme. He's got definitely got some unique faces. I don't know if I can get the finger in there. But Yeah, I'm having a problem here. It's definitely like a riot stock on the shotgun, on this like shotgunny type gun here. But he's, yeah, he's tough. All right, well, okay, well, that's close enough. I like to make mine look as real as possible, so I usually have a longer process. Uh, Unlike are, Evan, we're gonna we do can, question. We can barely. Uh, we're gonna do pose questions anybody. for the uh, the giveaway in, uh, just shortly. So I mean, that's a really cool. Yeah, this is the best two pack I think. For now sure. he does come with a vest, and he does come with. There's at least I could change his head to be four other heads. How's the view on that? Good. Good. Yeah. Spin him a little bit. Spin. See how he stands on a. On a motion spin, but there he goes. All right, so while uh, while we're cranking the other one out, let's do the let's give away a Hydra two pack. All right, let's do the Hydra two pack. Okay, well, I will. Uh, yeah, hold you messed up. Okay, so we're gonna do our first Hydra two pack question, um, and those were on the second page. Um, what is or when? Give me the issue number of Hydra's first comic book appearance. Not the retcon version. I want the original in the moment of history as these books were published. The very first issue of a comic that, it's not a number one, that of a comic that Hydra appeared in. So give me the comic book title and the number of the issue. You guys think, you guys think Disney will ever make a General Grievous or Mace Windu Link figure. I don't think so. I think we've got a better chance of Disney making a Black Series Grievous and Mace Window, wow. and we're actually kind of shocked that they haven't yet. So here is one of the uh, alternate heads with the mask. Pretty cool. Now, I, I would have to say I would probably glue the Hydra. Yeah. I would glue this in there because it, it's it's come out a few times. I like I like that uh, the hood look. Yeah, the hood's it. cool. See if we can get this vest on him. Oh, 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 we got it. Who got it? Uh, Manny Matias, Strange Tales number 135. All right, we Manny, will, we we will, will message you, you after this. Screen capture that. Manny, I got you screen captured. You were the first person uh, to answer. Um, I love that somebody wrote Storage Takes 135. <laughs> so apparently they, Antonio must have been speaking into his thing um, but I, I think that's really cool um, Joe and Jason thank you for entering that but that doesn't mean you still don't have another chance at well, we Ant-Man we've got Ant-Man and, and we've got Tryptophan, got Tryptophan. But, uh, Manny this is the only time you're allowed to win today we have had uh, similar situations <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> where one guy has won two things in the same day and I think he won over like 300 bucks for this stuff all right so, why don't we pop out another head, because I tried to get the vest on him, that went horribly wrong. And now he's got this uh, Doctor Doom pose. Oh, I like this, though. That's really cool. All right, this is the, uh, I like that we have, like, a human head. Uh, we've got this weird mask head, and now I'm going with, I'm going to call this the halo head. Because it's almost like a, ha a halo helmet. Yeah, I feel like these heads are definitely for him. I think it's two per. Well, the other heads, I mean, they're they're we, more in with the bigger body style. We've I'd got say. like an Eddie Brock thing going on over here with one of these heads, so it's a little bit different. Hello from the hello to the Philippines. What's going on, buddy? Oh, hey, what's up? Thank you for tuning in, man. What time is it there? So, my only thing is, I think we're rushing because we're trying to keep this brief. But I would like to. Uh, I think I'd like to spend a little bit more time trying to pose these guys. Yeah, you know what? Well, we'll have we do have Stephanie do pictures of these ones. These are wow, that's cool. That is really, really sharp. So he's he's really, really there. He goes. Yeah, and we he's just down. lost. We just lost that. Um, if if anybody wants to see any specific uh, shoulders, shoulders arms. or poses, but <clears throat> I think we'll, let's get him out and then we'll do the good, the bad. Yeah. 
Wow, this is a beefy figure. Check that out. Go away. Oh, come on. Now, first thing that you can see back. when you pull this guy out is flip him to the back. Look what oh. it has. That is awesome. Look at that. I was wondering where I, if he'd have a holster for his knife or anything. So they literally this give is... you... Is it that one? Yeah. They give you... Boom. So it's almost more like a sword than, yeah, right? than a freaking bayonet. <laughs> this thing is monster. It's very Rambo-ish. Yeah. I mean, the, the custom ability of these figures... I mean, you could do a lot with this this beefy Hydra agent. I got to remember, we got to keep them low. I mean, there's a lot. Somebody of, says of a, of a uh, potential here. Shield Soldier Nick Fury pack repaint head, I believe. Jason, man, uh, sorry we went longer than your lunch break, but thanks for uh, tuning in. Oh my God, we've got a lot. All right. Yeah, this wow, guy. You yeah. know what else I'm thinking? And I, I hate bringing up more customizations. But you've got all the colors you need to do a kick-ass figure. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to do a Marvel, ver a Marvel Legends version of a kick-ass figure. Check that rocket oh. launcher out. My only thing is, I think these, these hands just get a little bit tough. Oh, maybe not on this guy. So here is the first alternate head. Sorry, let's see if we get this in focus. There you go. Second, this one I think is the coolest one. See, I call that the Eddie Brock head with a scar. Scar Brock. Scar Brock. Here, give me that one. There you go. Pop that on. Yeah, these are not nice looking guys. Like, yeah, I'm gonna are... tell you, this is making this is making the top ten toy list this year. You think so? I think so year. too. Yeah, yeah, I think so I think too. So. Like I think there's just so much potential for, should we say, play? <laughs> there's, so, there's so much potential here to do stuff with all of these figures. We've got multiple weapons, multiple heads. Um, this has got to be like a loss leader. There's no way. Yeah. You know, like this is those, hey, we're doing this for the collectors right. pack. But, because uh, there's uh, so much. Because if they can do this on every pack, yeah. I want this every time. I would say a year ago, probably when they announced these at Toy Fair, they had to know that Toys R Us was in trouble. But, oh, yeah. But why give them to Toys R Us? Like... I'm sure yeah, because who else would right. the, retail sure. can purchase this stuff at such a bigger fashion than Entertainment Earth or Big That's Bad true. Toy Store. I guess. So Toys R Us buys it up, keeps it in their stock. Hasbro gets their gets paid the second that they take it in. You know what I mean? And and it's the 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 best for them. But I mean, the, like, this is these are you know I mean well we'll do the let's do the the good. So the good on this one. Great figures, great articulation, awesome accessories, more heads than more you heads know what than, to do with it. More heads than, than, than bodies that you have. Vests, uh, you know, Rambo blades. I would say, okay, we're doing good. Um, Val, yeah, man, we're in, we're in, uh, we're in Lumberton. Yeah, you are close, man. Burlington's not even 15 from here, so. Yeah, man, that TRU, we've been at that one a few times. Yeah, unfortunately, that Cadillac Road TRU shut down. Gone forever. Um, I, I just, I think you have so much to play with, so much to work with. If you want to build a scene, you want to do the Red Skull with an army. I mean, I've seen guys with armies of Black Series figures uh, of Stormtroopers just to give you more, you know, to give you that real-world craziness look uh that you can do with toys and these guys are these are the key i wish they did stormtroopers in two packs like yeah. they've, they've done some threes and some fours but i don't think there was an amazon one that came with a lot of accessories and exclusive of black series figures but you got one figure this is like anything else in life like the first day on your new job mm -hmm. you don't want to be this good you yeah. want to you want to yeah. do better, but you don't want to be amazing because when you know that they can do this well, right. this is what you want all the time. Because right. this, uh, and as a DC collector, this makes me rethink everything and go. Now the new X Men wave alone makes me rethink what the heck am I doing in my life? Uh, still collecting DC, but these are really really cool. Um, uh, the head looks like it came back uh, from a baseball bat facial. Wish they didn't use it so much. And Sundeep says, free Evan. I, unfortunately, guys, we, w you know, if it was up to us, but, you know, he's in the system now. So, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm trying to move the 
the bigger guy's head to the little guy's body. No, it doesn't even. And it works, but it doesn't look right. It looks like his, you know, it's like when you meet a girl who has bigger hands than she should. <laughs> it just doesn't I quite can't, work. I can't date see, you t- if, see, you're, if your yeah, hands you're, are bigger than mine. Got, she got man hands. <laughs> no, I mean, take a look. Here, we're going to here do a close-up. So I moved, this is the little guy, this is Hydra Bob, and we moved him, we, I moved the head from the big guy to him, and it just doesn't sit right. It's just one of those, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, no, it, 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 he looks like Robo, he's got a Robo, yeah. that's the RoboCop mask. Yeah, it's like, well, hey, if you wanted to do a custom RoboCop, yeah. that's it. Um, somebody said that they should make the AIM 2-pack uh, like this, and oh, agree, that would yeah. be very when cool. When was the last time that there was an AIM uh, no, it, it was, was a while the, ago. Wasn't it was it? the Mandroid wave. I think you got an AIM Ooh. soldier, right? Uh, something like Long that. Long time ago. But yeah, uh, here we go. Here I, I put this. I don't know. I, I call that's it, my favorite yeah, one. Yeah, this like hobgoblin like bug monster face that this guy's got is this is this is really really cool. Like, this is again. This is a customizer's dream pack. And it, you know, if you were one of those people lucky enough to to get this at twenty bucks, yeah. Um, is there even a, an uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, uh, not, not, not the show, but a comic two-pack where you got two figures of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents and you could do whatever you want with it? That, no, that would I be mean, the there follow-up. Was, there was this guy. Um, I don't know if you can... Can you see it yeah, up there here? Was, no. But, no. All right, so let's do... I think there was a Nick... Was there a Nick Fury and maybe a... It was at Maria Hill, but that's not going to count. Well, if yeah. anybody knows in, the, in there. So let's do uh, the bad and then... We'll uh, we'll get ready to move on here and do another giveaway. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So, yeah, yeah. These are I'm looking at them on our little screen, and uh, let's do the bad. Let's so do the, the bad. bad. Um, I think that the some of the guns in the hands probably are a little hard. You got to really work with yeah. them. I, you know, I bet it also well, we're we're doing this very fast here. Yeah, we're so, also looking at it's it's this kind of thing. If you can show my hand here. Um, uh, the, the the problem I was running into is we have a hand that's closed with a finger out so that it can go into the trigger. Sometimes, and some of the junkies have said this on our shows, that you need to almost get a warm knife and just kind of go in there and yep. make that finger just move out just a little bit more. Um, that's the issue I'm running into. And then, as I said, we have this like crazy shotgun that does like fit. extra clip. It fits, but it comes out very easily. Yeah. Like you give this to like a 12 year old, or well, I don't know if 12 year olds are playing with toys anymore. But <laughs> if, if you had a little kid back in the 80s this thing would have been lost in two seconds. And the vest is great, though. It would only fit on the smaller on the guy. the little guy. And it was way too hard to, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. I'm sure you can kind of make it work, but, you know. Well, the difference, too, and this is, I'm going to put this into the bad, is you've got a full-on, like, shock trooper here with, like, like combat boots and everything, and I love that they went that extra mile and gave all the detail to the boots. Yeah. However, I mean, over here on Hydra Bob, um, it's almost like he's got superhero like boots. Yeah. Like it's it's totally like yeah. yeah here you go. Your first day. You're, you're not well, this guy he's, yet. He's like he's the beefed up guy. He's the front line infantry. Right. You know he doesn't get the nice gear yet. He yeah. hasn't he hasn't worked. This up. is the guy. He who, hasn't hailed Hydra enough. This is the guy who's got to fight like Spider Man, and this is the guy that's got to fight Captain America. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. No. Exactly. Yeah. This is the guy that's kicking. Slender and guys to the right. Heavy set guys over here. We're gonna try to match you up as we kick butt. Yeah. All right. So final thoughts on the two pack. Oh wow, I didn't know that I had to take those off. Okay. So final thoughts oh, on the yeah. two pack. Um, slam dunk. Uh, the only shame is is that more people didn't get a chance to get this. Now it is, uh, you know, we we bought two, but you know we weren't scalping them. We didn't sell them. But if you go on eBay right now, they're between fifty <laughs> bucks up to sixty, seventy five. Hair dryer. Th- they've came down a lot more recently. Because there was a point, I think, where this was like an eighty or hundred dollar two pack. Yeah, it was um, up there. It was so rare. Like when you when you posted it, you found two, and then you went back yeah, the and then day. busted someone's stash. Um, oh. But final thoughts. You know what, uh, Hasbro. Yeah, nice. Good I mean, job. We appreciate it. This is great work. Um, give you some scale here. Yeah, the Hasbro. This was a this was a great. I mean, this was a really awesome set that you released and we're just kind of sad that enough enough of uh the people who collect these toys 
um, and figures didn't get a really get a shot at. Well, this is why I'm sad, and I know every like somebody posted the CNN article today that the Bratz uh, company is giving up trying to buy Toys R Us, and people are very happy about it. I get it. You can buy this stuff online, but nothing beats going into a Toys R Us, walking in, seeing the item that you've been searching Boom! for. Boom! I got it. I'm excited. I, I'm taking it home. I didn't have to I don't have to wait two days for uh. it to ship. I didn't have to sit up and try to pre-order it. That that fun, that hunt, that is going yeah. away. Yeah. You and, know, and, and I remember the nightmares of uh, ordering off a Maddie collector when you only had so much time. I mean, I'd literally be at my work on the on, like my phone ready. I would run into the bathroom bring it up because you weren't supposed to be on your phone at work and then like trying to order off a crappy Wi-Fi of trying oh, yeah. to order a Maddie Collector figure and I just gave up after a while and it yeah. just it got to the point where it was like this isn't worth the, with, the frustration and which the by the way if you are a Maddie Collector fan uh, find your closest GameStop 50-50 uh, which means 50% collectibles, 50% games. You yeah. have to call around. But they are getting old Matty Collector overstock. He-Man figures. Uh, Thundercats. Thundercats. So bat, uh, a lot of the Batman 66, 66 stuff. stuff. Yeah. And, so and if the you're price a collector. Is, the price is up there. It, it's almost eBay prices on some of these things. So you've got a good shot of just walking in and somebody was like, look, I'm not going to pay $50 for yeah. a figure that's five years old. But it might be your only shot then, to get like, a war shot. I, I was able to get Tuscadoro, as I've been calling him, <laughs> for twenty five bucks, and he's Where a fifty. He? Huh? I say he's going to give one. We're going to give one away. I bought right. two of them. All right. So but he should be out of here, man. That guy. That guy is just. Hey, so it's Tuscadoro. That, that, it's alone. so weird that we have that guy. It's like Triptychon. It's the like, one. Why are we so, Triptychon? Uh, all right. So Bob is. We're going to do this. Let's give this Let's away. Ant Man. All right. Okay. Oh um, yeah, we're, we're straight up gonna, giving this away. We're not so going to review it. Huh? Straight up, give this away. Yeah, let's just give it away. All right. We're we're going crazy today. Going crazy. Um, the shotgun looks good with the latest red pool. Use the hair dryer, the Taskmaster. Yeah, head. I like that hair he dryer. Hasn't, uh, somebody liked my he hasn't hailed Hydra enough uh, joke. <laughs> Hydra Bob is an actual character. I know. From the Look Deadpool. at that. Look exactly. at that. I love that. Losing physical stores means you get stuck with a figure filled with paint glops and errors that you bought online. Uh, which you could have avoided that's seeing an excellent in person. Point. Now, or, you know, you could pay Big Bad Toy Store more money because they actually can charge you. I think it's like $3 extra. That they go and look. So, yeah, now, if you're a collector, we should pay another 3 bucks um, just to, to get to get a good box and a good paint application. Well, here's something. I have a major problem with that. I, I, I'm just going to say that. It's nice that they do that, and I think that Amazon should start, you know, having, maybe if it's 25 cents or 50 cents, I'm a collector. I would like this packaged a certain way that it doesn't come that it's damaged. Like, we got a, a Captain Rex in the yeah. mail, and it was in a bubble wrap. And it was like, eh, no, no, no. We paid $40 for this figure. We want it, you know, in a box. We don't want it in a bubble wrap. But... Without Toys R Us and without us going up and looking at the figure and going, oh, look at these eyes. They're, you know, they're crooked. Will this make Hasbro step up their game now in the terms of uh, quality, well, um, you know, assurance well, or quality Well, now Big control? Bad Toys, it, it's now on Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth because without, Amazon's going to buy the stuff and, uh, you know, Walmart and Target. But... I have to assume that Amazon, or I'm sorry, Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store will have a lot more leveraging power than they've ever had before. And they should be making sure that what they're selling doesn't have paint defects. And they should send them and back. And they should be going back to Hasbro and saying, we can't sell these yeah. figures. We sell to collectors. We sell to your core audience who are buying these figures. These aren't acceptable. And I shouldn't have to pay more money for that. Yeah. Um, so then that's just my take on it. Yeah. You know? Well, and, and I'm sorry, I'm always a person that, that thinks all the way through and thinks of the, the negative sometimes of the outcome. What if Big Bad Toy Store Entertainment Earth says, all right, here's, here's 300 Ant-Mans that you sent us that the face was all crooked, that the, the teeth were over here painted on his cheek. Now, where do those figures go? Hasbro's just going to sell them on their website, and then all of a sudden Hasbro's going to be the place where you don't buy figures from Hasbro because they'll send you the paint defects. Yeah, well, so and, 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 and it's that's, quality control. That's that, it. And that's, that's the all beauty it is. of what we uh, uh, of our group, which is we can alert other people. Hey, you know, th this defect I saw a lot. Double check. Like when I was talking to somebody about Tryptophan, Tryptocon, 
Uh, I think it was Rick, uh, Rick said to me, ah, I'll pass on that one. It's got bad knee joints or something like yeah. that. So, you know, if you have questions or if you see something where you see it more than once, like for some reason, people are ripping the little red head off of the new Spider-Man oh my vultures. God. I saw like five of those Every this weekend place that and there I was go. somebody else too. Yeah. There was, there was another figure in that vulture Spider-Man wave. I think it was Miles Morales. They're pulling the yeah. head off of that. So just post it so does people that, know does that what, head what fit the look. I don't know, maybe. I'll bet you it does. I'll bet you they use the same neck ball joint and they're pulling that vulture head and doing something else with it. Somebody said Amazon should have an option to, to have your package not delivered by Ace Ventura. I, I would rather them just stick it in a thing and me go pick it up. And I'm, Well, I'm they're starting, doing that yeah, now. I'm starting to see that. They and are I doing would, that. I'd so, rather have that. All right, let's give this sucker away. But before we do that, let's just do, because we're not going to open it, let's do the uh, the, the packaging. Oh, I think um, I re what I really like about the packaging here is that we actually have a comic. Hold on. We let have me, Tales to Astonish number 13. Let me get into the... We have Tales to Astonish number 13. And as much as, as he and I have knocked this set as a two-pack, um, it is very comic booky. And, you know, maybe, maybe you don't like Paul Rudd. Maybe you like the character yeah. Ant-Man. You don't want him to look like, you know, a, a Scott Lang. Um, you know, we, we add to the value here of Toys R Us, which if I was, you know, if I was given this, I'd be like, great, I got one of the last I like the artwork on the sides. Yeah, and, and the artwork is very similar to... The artwork is very similar to what we're getting inside the pack, just like the Hydra 2 pack. I'm going to flip it over here. Just a little bit mirror, mirror image. We still got Anti in there, yeah. too. So, so uh, I just want to read a couple comments, and then we'll, yeah. we'll do the giveaway for this. So, uh, it's okay, guys. We're a community here at AFJ. Collectors, enthusiasts, and stores working the spread joy of collecting. Thanks again to the guys at AFJ. You guys are not only hilarious, but super informative. Thank you very much. And Sean said, Entertainment Earth occasionally puts up figures with damn it boxes for below retail. They do. They do. So that's something that I want to throw a, a shout out. I, I'm a, I'm, I like the little blind boxes. I hate the having to purchase the blind box and not knowing what I'm getting. But I love those little kind of vinyl figures. Yeah. So I saw Loyal Subject is now doing a great sale on their site. So whenever somebody rips a box in store, opens it, puts it back, and they ship it back to Loyal Subjects. If there's a ding in the box, 12 figures for $12. Whoa. A dollar a figure when they normally retail at 15 bucks. Yeah. They're telling you when you buy it, you might not get an accessory, you might not get a card, but at $12, you're at least getting one of the figures at a buck a piece. I'm definitely, for my son, going to grab yeah, like two not? or three of them. And it's right it. on their website. And they're honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the beauty of some of these smaller companies that are still the Super 7s, the Mezcos, that are looking out for collectors like ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we opened those Beast figure, uh, the, the Beast Kingdom figures yeah. Yeah. the other day over here. And, and over the here. guy was nice enough yeah. to, yeah. to, to, there to and sit in and talk to us about it. Monkey fist and he said, hey, you know, we, we, we make the joints removed so that you can mix and match your characters. That's the kind of stuff, you know, when you look out for us, we're the ones that are in the stores, you know, dropping a couple hundred dollars a month or more on our collection. So, you know, when we get some fan service, we like to hear it. So, yeah. all right, let's give away the Ant-Man 2-pack. Uh, to, to go real quick with my, uh, if I was going to make that fly figure, get the wings right off of the wasp. You're just, you're I, just popping, her you. popping her Which, wings. Which, popping Which, by the way, uh, spoiler... Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer playing uh, the original Wasp yeah. in the new movie. Yeah. Um, that's going to be cool because you know you're going to see her. Oh, yeah. And and the other thing I thought was pretty neat is that we have um, uh, Perry White is uh, is going to be Goliath in uh, yeah. Batman. So, I mean, talk about jumping teams. I doubt he, <laughs> he's just jumping off of the DC. I, I, I doubt step. he's going to give that similar. I'm sure he'll get the same question that Josh Brolin got. What's the difference between the MCU and the DCU? They make good movies. No, he said he said massive success. <laughs> that was his. You sent me that. You sent me that. I don't re theme. I remember. Ah. Okay, so, sorry. Give it away. Trivia question: um, Who is credited as the creators, plural, of the Ant-Man? Right? There's three names. Three we need collectors. All three names. The creators. Two of them are throwaways. Yeah, two of them are easy. Two it's of them, the if you don't get one. that. But you need all three. Even Evan would have got those. Travis Taylor, you just said, I love Ant-Man. You should probably know this. 
All right, let's, uh, while, while people Shane, are... Shane, we are not going to open it up because we only got one and we want to kind of... Give it away for as, you guys. As rare as these things are, we, we don't want to... There we go. Let's see, we have it. I dropped 60 on a Mafex Joker already this week. It's mine and my son's birthday today. Ryan, it's my birthday too. Happy birthday. It's a good day. That's why we're giving stuff away. Yeah, right? I mean, we got some glare going. Yeah, we got a little bit of glare today. Stanley, we well, we're, we got to get all three. All three. Don't, don't, don't jump the gun. Get him in there. <laughs> God, I hope Evan gets out of jail. Up, 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 up. You got to put all three in one. Wait, no, wait, wait, that's Jason Hawk. Oh, Jason he got Hawk it. Got all three. Nope, he got it. Jason Hawk got all three. Jason Hawk. Jason all right. Hawk gave it three separate answers but yes. you got all three so we are we are going to we'll reach out to you after yeah so uh stay tuned we still have one more giveaway um the tryptocon trip trip the fan tryptocon um so wait a minute i got a special one for for him hail megatron <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh before we um before we give this sucker away um we're not gonna open it we have one you are we gonna open one we're gonna go. We'll go for an hour and a half. We're doing it live. Okay. I think we should because um, we don't do enough. So then that's it. Everybody, stay stay tuned. So let's just talk about some other stuff that we've got going on. If you liked what we did today, please go on to our YouTube and our Instagram. Subscribe um, and follow us. We put out at least a couple videos a week there. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna be at GamerCon. We were just at Wizard World, so that video should be up in a day or two. Yeah. Um, but we're going to New York Comic Con. Yeah, we got we got uh, press credentials for New York Comic Con. So Took three years, and we finally got press. Credentials. So we want we wanted to thank you guys because in the course of about 120 days, we have over 1.3 million hits to the Action Figure Junkies website, um, and we have some really great tools coming soon for you guys to help you sell your figures a lot more efficiently without yes. having to lose money with eBay. So stay tuned. We're very short or very shortly are going to be announcing those, those features coming out. But thank you guys so much. Cause you know, we, we work really hard on this content and we really appreciate you guys checking in and, 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 and giving it a look. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else we do have some other contests that, that this, if you haven't already did the sub and Instagram and then you emailed Evan, yeah. Um, who I think YouTube, he has Wi-Fi in court, right? I think he has it in his in his jail cell. Yeah. So uh, I mean, his his holding room. Yeah, yeah. Wherever they're they put them all together, yeah, right? Yeah, right, I think. Right. But the communal toilet. Yeah. So uh, if you subbed and follow, follow us on Instagram and you email that to him, you're going to get a chance to win the whole Juggernaut wave. Yeah. That goes off this this Thursday. Yeah, right, we're going to give it away fourth? Thursday. Tomorrow is the is the last day that you can enter if you haven't done it already but you have to take screen captures of your subscriptions and of, and of instagram and youtube yeah. and then mail them to evan at actionfigurejunkies.com yeah and you're going to get a chance to win that and we are going to have another we're, we're going to keep the contest rolling yeah. um so you know we'll do a couple more of these yeah. but our next big one so if you're watching now and you want to think about it as is going to be we're going to give we're going to give away a bunch of Ant-Man related products at least yes. 3 or 4. Yes. It'll be over a $100 value and you have to tell us how the movie is going to end. So if you saw Avengers Infinity War, you know that there was a big thing that happened at the end of that. So does that play into the ending? What kind of after right. the credit scenes? We kind of think right. we you know we'll we, we've you, got some guesses. We'll let you know when that launches. Right. It's not today. Not today, but start thinking about it. Write it up, and we're gonna do a big giveaway for that. Yeah. So we're gonna crank into the uh, Thanksgiving nap. Type. No, this is return. not. We, this is this is our in-house one. This is not the one yes. we're gonna give away. We have a totally separate one that will not have our grubby little fingers all over it. So, I do like big toys. I really like big toys. We're gonna have to, hold on, I will adjust the second thing. Okay, well, uh, with Hasbro, they thanks love- Thanks guys, they're, okay, Jason's gonna give it to his son and daughter. Yeah, I saw that. Guy's gonna share this post with their friends. The <laughs> big boy, now we're in there. Thanks guys, you guys are awesome. Free Evan again. Uh, is there a post with that giveaway rules in the group? 
Sorry, man, I'm on the bus at the moment. Who won? Jason Hawk won that last one. And yes, if you type in to your search on your phone or on your computer, action figure junkies, scroll down, you'll see the juggernaut wave giveaway, and that has the rules to that giveaway. So yeah. I'm going to do this and adjust the camera. So you. This uh, thing is. Now. Wow. This may be a rainy day project for us because not only do we have this massive thing, and I, I mean, the project is going to be putting all the stickers on. Oh, yeah. Because this thing, or maybe not. Who's <laughs> we, got three hours? We'll resell it. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, wow. This is massive. Now, I never had, did you have any trip Transformers as a kid? I kind of think that skipped your generation. No, I, I was more uh, like late model. I, I missed the G1 craze. Okay. Um, but I, big Beast Wars guy. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, it's a different. It's a heavy duty watch. Stuff. We're cutting towards each other. Did you notice that? Yeah, we're big safety yeah. fans here. Thank I only God got Ocean as far, only got as, far as uh, Arrow of Light. I didn't get any higher than that. There you go. Oh my God. Oh. Oh man, we almost had an Evan incident. Oh, I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna hand this to you. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. This is the beauty of Ollie's. Now, oh come on. Oh my God. We talked about. Are these legs or arms? I don't know. This is, thing is so here. cool. I don't oh, know. that's the head. All right, we found its head. I don't even know if we need batteries. Because back in the day, the old one was mechanical. You could move them. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the value here by opening the booklet up so that we can figure out how the hell this thing goes together. This is cool, man. I love this big yes, stuff. Yes, our channel is AFJ. Action figure junkies. Action it's, figure it's junkies. Action figure junkies. Wow, okay, this no. is freaking no. cool. No, 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 no. What, did you rip it? We lost a sticker. Oh, really? We lost, a st we lost a sticker. Come on, Bob. <laughs> like you could have put that on a toy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You see these hands? Yes, I do. All types of finesse. Oh my God! This isn't a book. It's a blueprint. All right, so it hey, can't... we don't have the opposite of adds to the value, but you just brought the value. I down. just brought the we value down. We are missing. Down. Okay, this is insane. Look at this. I don't even know. Are we wide here? Look at this. This yeah, is we're where wide. The, this is where the stickers go. Now we do some trade. It's backwards, actually. Here we go. This is our transformation process. When the booklet is bigger than me, <laughs> you know that you couldn't print that and put no, it on your yes no. as a shirt. I couldn't. <laughs> when I can't wear it on my shirt, which by the way I can wear most things, oh my God. it's really this thing is awesome. I you know what? The, I don't like when we open stuff on the it show. Hurts. It hurts because it really well, does. not only does it hurt, but then like if it's something I don't collect. Now I'm like, these are real. Like I know there's four, uh, Fortress Maximus. But he, there's he a came bunch out of other last ones. Year. Last year, but he now was I'm kind of like, well, I need these big transformers. I don't even know what this thing does. All right, so let's let's try to put this bad. Now remember, this is a city, some sort of vehicle, and a T-Rex. <laughs> it's a city, some sort of vehicle, a T-Rex. Uh, it's an Uber. Yeah, it's. <laughs> um, well, it's got. It's got sky shadow, or is that? Why, why buy your family dinner a missile when they can have a PBJ and you guys can? Well, at 50 bucks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just tell your family we're eating peanut butter and jelly this week. Daddy needs some, some tryptophan. <laughs> Scalpel nurse. <laughs> okay, um, I honestly, all right, so this is, MJ, I'm, I'm going off a of one, two. This may, this may take too long for us to do. Yeah, well, this is way. Tell you the truth. This is way out of our league here. I am. Oh I'm just looking God. to see if we can't get wait, some wait, 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 of it. Okay, so we got to put these legs on. The legs. Wait, this is, folks. We are so sorry. I did not think. See, this. This is what I'm looking at here. This is. This is beyond epic. Okay, so wait a minute. Here we go. Three. Spot three. This. Is there something that flips out? This. This is the front. And then this is number four, so this has to go. All right, here we got it. We got you it. Got this it? definitely got to be this. There you go. Uh, I think I don't think it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Come on, you got no, you got no, uh, no faith in me, Bob. No faith. Mike, I'm. Is that right? Is that yeah, backwards? Is close is, enough. Is it upside no, down. Good. 
that matches it's not steel, good. Yeah, it matches. It matches. Okay. All right. Just so that's done. <laughs> let, let's turn this sucker into a. Uh, uh, let's just go for the T Rex because I think we're yeah. Let's go way for the T Rex. So how do we make? How do right, we T Rex? So one, this two. I don't know what this All right. is. So that's the head. Legs that's down. The leg. This there is, you this go. This has got to be the tail, right? Yeah, that's the here. So its head's got to turn around. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. And there you go. Leg. Wow. My never wife done Trixie this. said, "I told you so." I'm gonna belt her in the mouth when she gets home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know the fact. That I, I'm just gonna go ahead. You did it, man. You did it. Well, wait. Now I know these come down. Hold on. No, those are the yep, those yep, are yep, rockets. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No, I meant the arms. And then this little thing, little little T Rex. Oh my God! Come on! Wow! Look at this. And I'm gonna say, like, I'm I'm giving myself Matt major credit uh, for putting this up. Look at it. There's no cliff notes for this. I we can't even go to the close. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Because you know, I, I was at Toy Fair like uh, three. I, whenever um whenever the first Dinobot was in the movies, whenever year that that year was of Toy Fair. And there was a transforming immediate. Go to the go to the second. Camera. It was not nearly as cool as this. Second go to camera. the second camera. All right. Check this out. Okay. Oh wait, where's his little unicorn nubbin? Oh, I think that's this. I think that's oh, that's this. That's when the gun comes out. Okay. So we've got the gun here. We got missiles. We got little. You because you know that now because of Jurassic Park. You know, the T-Rex is, is the hero. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. The mouth opens. Okay, for 50 bucks, and you, you can, can't you get can put stuff down. Cooler. You can go down his throat with your finger. I'm just not going to say anything, but go ahead. We're not going to turn him into the I'm city, I'm trying guys. to figure out how the car... The car must detach somehow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it does come with a vehicle. Here, turn him, it? turn him. So, going to get his undercarriage, guys. All right. That really, this is really kind of. This kinda, is a solid toy. Yeah, for fifty bucks. Oh wait, wait. I, I, oh, I, I, thought, I think I, I'm transforming him. I think he's transforming on his own. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, look at the camera. All right. All right, let's get one away. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, switch to the wide. We're, we're gonna we're gonna switch to the wide shot here. So as MJ gets the purple shirt out of the way. Okay, so this is the moment you've all been waiting for, folks. The struggle is very real, All Sean. hail. All hail. Wait, you want to do it? All hail Megatron? All hail Megatron. Megatron. <laughs> well, right. Should we talk about him or we should give him away? Yeah, let's we'll do, we'll do, all right, we're going to make you guys watch a little yeah. bit longer. I mean, we still got, we got at least 25 people staying strong on this. Um, you know, I, let's just do the good. Yeah, somebody said it looks like, uh, like Godzilla, and I got to say it, it really does. has a mecha... Godzilla vibe here. Yeah, this is definitely like a, Shane, like a Jaeger. Shane would like us if 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 he wins. Look at uh, this. You can uh, look the yeah. the hands like open. Yeah, it's really further. cool. Shane would like us to autograph it if he wins. Well, I yours is in the win. box if you win, Shane. Yeah, <laughs> Lo Lois and Clark crossing the Great West. Time, Jason says time lapse video. <laughs> now this way you can get all the details. The struggle is is real. The struggle is very real. Roar. Uh, Richard says AI. I think a lot of people were sticking around for this guy. Yeah. This is this is like we got him right at you, coming right at you here. Kind of, kind of the angle to show you how big he is. He's he's gonna make a nice centerpiece. Yeah. I mean I don't want to take the Hulk out because we'll knock everybody down. Um, trying to get the Hulk out of here, what but the heck? It's all part of the transformation. This is all part of the city dome. Because it becomes like a city unto itself. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like we should maybe give it a shot. No, I, I don't know, dude. I don't want to lose our audience. <laughs> this is really cool. This is insane. There's a lot here. And I guess that's how those attach. No, I don't know. I think you have to probably see. Like this opens. Yeah, we're halfway there. Wow, guys, this is like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I guess it's like a landing platform. Oh. I feel like we're really like halfway running there. around the inside of like Unicron trying yeah. to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. Uh, Dave, just pop to the second one there for us. All right. There's got to be, yeah, there's got to be some sort of, just get on there. So you got, 
Look at this thing. This is a playset, um, you know. Yeah. For for a kid, like, could you imagine something like this? Like I know my Getting son. Getting this for Christmas at fifty bucks too. Like you know, we were debating um, the Poe Dameron helmets there for a while, but <laughs> that is not worth fifty bucks. This thing is worth fifty bucks. This oh is yeah. Crazy. This is crazy. Who fun. makes this? Hasbro. Hasbro makes this. Too? Hasbro. This this is an insane toy. I guess I mean, these are probably like ramps. To go yeah, down. they're ramps to, to go down to drive up. I'm trying to. I mean, I mean, I'm, th there's probably much more here to it, folks. Jason owns one. Bob's laugh. Thank you, Raul. My wife calls it the cackle. Oh, so there's there's three. So yeah, there's we, three modes. So, we so this is like between, another. There, there's we're, a city yeah, mode. we're in between the city mode. And the car mode. And the car mode. It's oh, like wow. Look at that mode. car. Yeah, that's this. No. Which, it turns itself into, I think, one no, of these, it. right? That's it. Oh, that's it? That's All right, it. my bad. That's it. I'm guessing that there's some sort of other transfer. Oh, God. We got it off. Finally. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she And wait a minute. So you're really getting two Transformers. Yeah, this is really cool, guys. All right, let's give it away. Not this one, because no. the flavor. Okay, so here we go. Space and ship. Okay. When it's flat, it almost looks like the Hydra, guys. Yep, yep, it does. Yep. Okay, so um, we're going to give you guys, and we'll, we'll have a little short little time limit here to see how long this one takes. But we're going to go G1. Tell, me, tell us who voiced Trypticon on the G1 Transformers cartoon series. Which is a really funny answer. Bob was telling me it earlier. Yes. Tell us who was the voice of Trypticon on the G1 cartoon. That's it. Um, so we got a lot of the cool stuff going on this week. Right now we got our 10 coolest Landos up on uh, actionfigurejunkies.com. Yeah. Um, like you said, we're going to have a Wizard World video coming. Yeah, the Wizard World, um, I mean, we don't want to give it all away, but we were, I mean, we... Boom! We got our winner. All right, Matthew, it's coming to you. Kaplowitz. Matthew, congratulations. Yes, Ray's brother from Everybody Loves Raymond was the voice of Trypticon. And what's weird is, I think it was the only voice on Transformers that he did. Some of these guys are like the voices of like six or seven different people. Yeah. So I, I, was, I was blown away when it said, I said, Brad Garrett, hmm, sounds like the guy from uh, Real Raymond. And then sure enough, I was on a Transformers wiki, he went right to his picture, and I'm like, oh my God, it really was. So yeah, we got a lot coming on this week. Um, we'll yeah. be in touch with you guys. Roger C. Carmichael, that's not a bad guess, but I think he was the voice of, um, what's it called? All right. I, I think, because uh, it's, it's, it's my birthday today, I'm feeling good, oh, oh. and there's been a lot of guys still uh, watching uh, mm -hmm. today. Let's do uh, two t-shirts. Two we'll give away two t-shirts. Okay. Um, and let me go see. I think I've got something else oh. that we can give away. Oh. So, Bob, you vamp. Which I know you okay. Have a We're going to give away some t-shirts, guys. Thank you for remaining on. We've seen a couple people drop off already. Um, so we're going to do some t-shirts and some stickers. Um, this is a in, this is an incredible uh, playset. Um, if you've got Ollies around the country, um, you know maybe there's been one stashed somewhere back in the rugs, um, but it's definitely worth checking out. Um, there are three that I drive by on a regular basis, and uh, not only that, not only finding cool stuff like this, they've got graphic novels like you would not believe. Uh, great Marvel comics, DC comics, Boom Studios. Uh, no Dark Horse though, so I guess Dark Horse doesn't really uh, do that. But I'm still really stalling here. So, um, yeah, really glad that Evan was not able to be here today because we got everything running up uh, much quicker than normal. So, um, yeah, yeah. And it's really weird because his cardboard cutout is staring at me. All right, Very so creepy. we are going to do this one <laughs> um, because there was a lot of... We cannot believe the love-hate relationship. Exactly. It's mostly hate, exactly. but there will be a new... Dun, da, 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 Thundercats coming out. Um, Cartoon Network, not everybody loved it. Um, got a lot of people not loving it. But with that being said, we are going to give away one of the Mezco Thundercats. Um, 
Extra Head. This isn't the one with Snarf. It's the Deluxe Edition. Snarf, snarf. Um, cardboard Evan <laughs> judges you. Cardboard Evan judges you. T-shirt. Matthew, you get a T-shirt. <laughs> uh, T-shirts only for no. We're gonna we're gonna do three more trivia questions. So if you're still on, three more trivia questions. Um, give everybody a good chance to win. Uh. Uh, you you got a Thundercats question? I do. I do. All right. So let's give away a T-shirt first. Okay. All right. So T-shirt, um, up to two XL. Yeah, that's all is we what we have for now. Um, what do you got? <laughs> oh, um, okay. So I had a another Trypticon question. All right. So Trypticon question number two. This is for a T-shirt. This is a harder one, right? In the original G one toy set. Who were the three figures or the three extra little Transformers that you got with Trypticon? So what, what were their names? There were three of them. So I, you, you're, I, I need to catch up on my, my G1. I'm not... Um, I watch them from time to time. Um, I really think that uh, you know, there's a lot of good stuff there. A lot of good fantasy what, science fiction. What do you think the, the, the junkies would do if they put out a Transformers cartoon? In the new they, Thundercats animation They put style. out a cartoon series for Transformers every so many years, and I just think that, I think that the diehards are just thrilled to, um, just to have that property still out. And, and it gets slightly <coughs> more kiddie cartoony each time. Um, I would like them to bring back a little, something a little bit harder, but I think well, that's the Michael Bay universe. Uh, Sean, you got one of them. Got to get the other two. So here's the thing about this Thundercats thing, which is people, I hate it, but people love this Teen Titans Go. Mm -hmm. The kids love it. I don't think it sells nearly as many toys as it could because of the series, but they're like, they're all of the good cartoons on Cartoon Network are going away. Antonio, you got it. All right, Antonio, uh, we will reach out to you. You got a shirt coming your way. So to make way for this fluffy, spastic, ADD, you know, mile a minute stuff. And is it bad? I mean, because really, guys, go back, watch original Thundercats, watch your old He-Man. None of that stuff is great. In no, retrospect. It, but why can't we get a young... Like, I don't know if you watch Young Justice and they rallied yeah. to get a season three. A smart, clever, well-written show with good art. You know, why they're not giving us that, I don't know. Maybe it's cheaper to do it the other way. I, Maybe it's easier. But Thundercats is the newest one on the slaughtering block. I don't know what you want to call it. I, I, mean, I don't people even really... I don't know. I'd like to see some of it. it, it it's not for me. I like the Arthurian legend told with cats. Um, I think this is going to be more of a funny, goofy, fun show. And hey, if, if that's what keeps the property around for a while, and then a movie comes out that's more serious... Well, I guess the real right. question is, is, is something better than nothing? And, I, and, and that's what the junkies debate constantly, especially on mm -hmm. the post that we made, is, you know, like your, your new Ghostbusters movie. Is continuing the property enough or do we always have to just be given what we want? And what I haven't seen a lot of yet is still giving you what you want, but without having to go, ah, let's make them girls or ah, let's change the cartoon style that... Let's, and that's the thing we talk about often on, on the show, which is just changing something to change it. Yeah. Like the change doesn't have a real purpose right. versus just, well, if we change it, it'd be really fun and you yeah. know people are going to watch it. And, and, and that's what kills it a lot of times yeah. for me. And you watch it and you're like, so making that one character a girl was... Yeah. Now, making, making Lex Luthor this weird... Yeah. You know, I'm going to go... Yeah. And we're going to start I, I think one of, DC. one of the few changes that I can really remember that everybody went, huh? was making Starbuck on Battlestar Galactica a woman. And yeah. I think after about, you know, four episodes, you were like, eh, that's Starbuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a woman. All right. You know? uh, all right. Vintage figure would be cool. Simple animation is cheaper. It seems that smart, clever adult shows don't do well. I think it has a lot to do with the time slot for adult animation. Teen Titans Go thrives for the audience they targeted. 
the more adult Young Justice and other Thundercats and He-Man reboots couldn't get their target audience to watch it, sadly. Uh, I don't know why, but I want that Robin wait trip to con giveaway already happened. Sundeep, man, I'm sorry, brother. You missed it. Uh, hey, does that Songbird legend come with those pink wings? Yes. Wow, good eyes. Yes, she yes, it is. Does. We put her out, man. She was. Uh, uh, and somebody says there is only one Starbuck. Oh. So, okay. Dirk Benedict? Th- Thundercats giveaway. Let's do it. Who wants to win this sucker, huh? Who is the voice of Lionel on the original Thundercats cartoon series from the 80s? Boom. He also did the best week ever on VH1. <laughs> you know what cracks me up is I almost think I have more fun just adding stuff so you have to <laughs> keep making up questions. Which, by the way, it sounds like you like you have these down. You know what I mean? Like, you know that much trivia that you're just like, oh, I got it. Thundercat, what's the property? <laughs> I got it. So come on, uh, who is the voice of Lionel? Dirk Benedict is Starbuck. So all right, who is Lionel? And then we're gonna do a T-shirt, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, now who's the voice of Lionel in the original Thundercat series? Boop boop boom. Kinney. Oh, who should we give it to? Uh, uh, I think you needed the full name. Yeah, we're gonna go with the full name, Sean. Sorry. So Andrea, you win. All right. Geez, we're like we're running out of space here. We're All right. running out of space. We'll be in touch with you. Um, you know, let's give. Uh, uh, we're going to be more. Anything else? Still down to sixteen. So that's so we got one more T-shirt. So you want to do a T-shirt, right? Do any more, do any more trivia questions? I, I have one trivia question, but it's an Ant Man question. No, I mean either do the Ant Man or. All right. No, I already moved him in the other room. Um, all we right. could we could just because we're we're going wild today. <gasps> you want to do it? Is that the, is that it? Tuscadoro. You want to MJ, Are we MJ give seems away? to like clean house. You think we were moving next week or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a couple weeks. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, no t-shirt. No t-shirt. If you're a He-Man guy, which by the way we have two, we could open one, but I we're I'm done for today. All right. Um, Tuscadoro. I don't know if you guys watch our. Uh, Instagram and other hunts when we go out. Damn. We try to do our best. He is part of... There you go. Hold on. Oh, you... man. Uh, I believe the Tuscadoro was part of the more... Um, yeah, the Galactic Protectors He-Man. So that that's like late He's 80s. epic. I mean, when you see yeah. this sucker out of the box, he is a massive figure. I mean, there are some cool figures. There was Slushhead, Hydron, Darius, She-Ra. I'm reading them off the back. Um, I only remember really Hydron because I had him for a while. Um, but this is, I mean, this is a heavy, the, the tusks are actually detached. And it's, this is an impressive figure. Oh, yeah. We're getting, the stagehand Dave is, is sending us notes as Evan oh, stares oh, at oh, us. Yeah, Evan's looking at us. All right, we're going to move this. We're going to get him on you camera. Want, you want to transform him back to? Nah, we'll do that later. Okay. So here we go. This is the last trivia question of the day. Hello, Stephanie. Thanks for joining in towards the end. <laughs> yeah, that, it's only your husband's birthday. It's only over now. God. So, last giveaway of the day. Um, God, man, dude, I got... I don't, I mean, we gotta go He-Man, right? I guess. Hmm. Um, who played... Oh, God. We don't know if we have He-Man people on here. It doesn't matter. It's again something for free. Who played? Are you ready? Who played Gwildor in the Masters of the Universe movie that starred Dolph Lundgren? Who well, played Gwildor? Get to your IMDb, Who folks. Who played Gwildor? If you know this one, good for you. And then we're <laughs> wrapping it up. Oh, yeah, because my battery's running low. <laughs> we're gonna lose this real quick. All right. So other than that, again, YouTube. Uh, I mean, like. We're working on being able to live to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. It. I really don't know if we're going to make it. <laughs> I'm at 5%. You have 5%. 5%. You guys better go. We're shutting this sucker down real fast. Uh, I may have to run into the other room. All right. Uh, Gwildor going deep. Gwildor's not that deep. It's the, Come on. Gwildor to win Tuscador? Tuscadoro? Look at it. Boom, JK, you got it. All right. JK. Um, Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, I know everybody loves giveaways. JK so, Coma, you got it. We'll uh, be contacting you. Every time we do a live, we give something away. 100%. So 
Uh, guys, um, hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll be back later on. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.